goodness. Good morning, namaste, and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to venture in Gokhan around my hometown. I think I will explore the jungle, beach area, although <laughs> it does look as if it may rain. So I'm definitely going to start off with a uh, chai. Ah, oh, early morning. It's still sort of like not even 7 a.m. So definitely need a little bit of a caffeine before starting my day. So breakfast is dosa. I'm really waiting to tuck into my breakfast. So this vlog is also going to contain an update about the uh, corona um, because we are in our second wave now and I know that a lot of you have been asking about that so I will include an update in this vlog and anyways I have got my chai caffeine for the jungle just to make me very alert because there might be snakes <laughs> There might be monkeys in this forest like a jungle. Being out in nature is just uh, amazing. So, uh, I did say I will explain about forest bathing. So, with forest bathing, when we're out in nature, we just sort of like absorb the energy because nature is an energy. Einstein says that everything is an energy. So, with the energy, it's so beautiful, it's so vast, you know, beautiful green colours. And what this does is it actually activates our parasympathetic nervous system. So basically, in COVID time, second wave time, we're very, very high alert because we just don't know what's going on. We're frightened of the diseases. So being out in the forest is very, very calming for the mind. And one place we can go during this lockdown is the forest. And forest bathing is also about engaging the senses, like it has this particular sound. The forest really, really has a particular sound. And I'm just listening to that sound. I can't quite explain it. And the colours is just ever so green and it looks ever, ever so beautiful. And we can actually smell the flowers and the plants. And sometimes we can taste berries. We might be able to see some monkeys and snakes, but that might just um, activate uh, anxiety. So let's hope I don't see monkeys and snakes in this beautiful Indian forest. So yes, just uh, a little bit of information there about forest bathing. And a lot of you have asked about the uh, second wave here in India and you say you've been watching the news. And yes, unfortunately, there are parts of India that are struggling. Now, in terms of Gokana, where I live, we have lockdown at the weekends and it's the weekend. So basically everything is closed. So, for example, with the restaurants, we can get takeaway uh, delivered to us, but we can't actually go in and pick up a takeaway. But during the week, we can. We can pick up takeaways and a uh, few shops are open, but there's partial opening and we do have curfews as well. Um, anything else about this wave here? Yes. 
Uh, where I live in Cuddly, there is no lockdown whatsoever, even at weekends. We've still got all our facilities. I'm so blessed. I'm so, so lucky. I'm feeling really relaxed with the forest bathing. Yes, things can go up and down, up and down. Uh, I'm doing the best to look after my health. I might have some nice Tulsi tea later, pick some Tulsi leaves from the forest and have some tea, look after my health, look after my mind and well-being and just breathe slowly in the forest. Use the yogic breath where we breathe in for four, one, two, three, four, pause, and out for four. One, two, three, four, pause. And Cuddly Beach in a gorgeous cafe. Definitely time for another chai. Ah. Cheers. Ah, nice. So I'd say that was a secret forest because not many travellers know to take that beach route and it's an amazing beach tree. Even myself, I didn't know how long it'd take. I just went and tried it out. So now I can say that if you want to go to the beach, why don't you take the scenic route via the forest? So I don't think it's uh, a secret anymore. The secret is out, but I'm glad it's out because it means that you can enjoy. Okay, so I'm a bit scared of going across this bridge. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, definitely scared. Uh, wish me luck. I don't want to fall. Uh, trying to get this camera into focus a bit. Uh. Ah! Oh. Mm. Uh. I can't look at the camera because I am scared of the bridge. Hey, I'm across. I did it. I got across the dodgy bridge. Hi, how are you? So in the forest we picked the Tulsi and look at that Tulsi tea, another chai. Fabulous, so Tulsi as I've said on previous vlogs, it's really health healing, it's very good for cold, flu, immunity boosting, so again in these unprecedented times as well as looking after mental health by going to their forest and doing forest bathing, the Tulsi from the forest will look after our physical health. Cheers!
And I, for one, love Tulsi tea, and I'm forever grateful that we can just pick the leaves and place it in her. Om Shanti Shanti Om. So, I think it seems clear that I absolutely love chai. And I have a lot of supportive friends who are willing to buy me a chai. So, the next scenes were filmed before we had the lockdown. I will buy you a chai. I will buy you a chai. Hey, we will buy you a chai. Thank you. I will buy you a chai. Thank you. I will buy you a chai. Thank you. Driving your car, all the best, all the best. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, oh, yeah, now. Lovely. I will buy you a chai. Thank you. 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 We will buy you a chai. Thank you. We will buy you a chai. I'll buy you a chai. Thank you. I have such kind, generous friends, don't I? So, if you would like to join my friends in buying me a chai, I would be ever so grateful. So, basically, what I'm asking for is just some donations for making the vlogs. And what the donations will go towards is new camera equipment, because I've literally just got um, a phone and a selfie stick and that's it and all the filming is done on the phone sometimes i get this blurry camera syndrome so it would be absolutely amazing to continue to make the vlogs that i am making for you so with the donations you can just make a one-off donation so minimum donation is five pounds which is about five uh, 500 rupees or about six dollars always depending on exchange rate so one-off donations i'm ever so grateful for uh, especially with us being in these covid times as well and a lot of people haven't got much uh, to give so i'd be ever so grateful or if you like you can sign up to send me some payments uh, monthly or yearly and it needn't be a lot absolutely not just a donation for making vlogs and giving you the time uh, that I can invest in new camera equipment shanti 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 onama shabaya much much gratitude to any donations that I get for this donations link is in the comment section below so shanti 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 onama shabaya kisses mwah, and see you on the next vlog Isala Katnam Day. Isala Katnam Day.